Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Alan Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, for the commentary. Our football coming up shortly for you from EFL League Two. Really looking forward to what's going to unfold here, Alan. Yeah, real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Well, he's loving this competition. Really is scoring for fun so far. And this is the lineup for the home side. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward. And uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. He can't do it all on his own. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And this is how the visitors will line up for this match. Two banks of four, 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. Neatly intercepted. Keeper can deal with that. He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Holden, a quiet moment here. Let's go to Alan McAnally, who's got news of a goal in his game. Alan? It's a goal for the home team. Nine minutes played, 1-0. We're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. A timely challenge. Safety first from the defender, can't blame him for that. Guthrie. Here's a chance! Well, he has started fast and they've started fast, that's the opening goal. Just look at the way he's got past these defenders. Alan, and really maximised the situation he created for himself. Well, he did. It was, he was head down and some wonderful balance and footwork to beat a couple of defenders and knock the ball in the back of the net. Wonderful goal. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Now right. Goal news from Stevenage. It's a goal for the visitors. 18 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Easy work for the keeper here. Making sure there's no turnover. Gordon. And there's the interception. Keeping calm in the pursuit of uh, an equalising goal here, not panicking. Gonna try one now. read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception with his skill here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on a good hit at it but I'm afraid it was off the radar Gordon he's beaten his man won it back with a strong challenge We've got some news of a goal from elsewhere. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. 27 minutes played, 1-1. Well, right on the spot there for that story. Alan McAnally, of course.
terrific tackle. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Marsh. Clay. Good support running on either side. They might have been in there, but the interception was inspired. Excellent play to lose his marker. He worked so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. Guthrie. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Space to cross the ball now. Can he set himself now? Well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then. It was a great chance, I thought. But they're safe again. Space for the shot! Obviously thought he'd really got to connect there, and he did. But maybe it just put his aim off. Yeah, I mean, a bit of contact maybe from the defender, but uh, you would have expected him to score from there. They've got the ball back by that interception. <laughs> Two more minutes to play of added time. Two minutes of added time. Have a look at what's on now from this wide position, not closed down. And he's gone and won the book. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Play on, says the referee. And that's gone out for a throw-in. Well, he's better than that. That's a poor pass. Goal news from Scunthorpe. It's a second goal for Scunthorpe United. 50 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Won the ball capably with that tackle. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Marsh. The shot gets blocked. Guthrie. Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. Well, time is ticking away, it's time for a change, and here it comes. Gives it away, straight to the opposition. Home team ready to make a change. Wide. Pass one defender. Chance to put it in the box from here. Well, they are behind, so it's time for a change. They've got to try and improve their performance somehow. Great interception. Referee has blown and he's given the free kick. Oh, how about this? Listen to the crowd now. He's coming off, having uh, really taken this game by the scruff of the neck. Oh, he's a real favourite with these fans, an even bigger favourite now after that performance. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today, but when you look at how they've played, no real surprise that they are trailing in this match because they haven't asked enough of the opposition haven't really moved the ball with the same kind of slickness that they normally do. And unless that changes, they're going to lose this match. A penalty at Swindon. It's a penalty for Swindon Town. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. And he scored with a penalty, and it's wide, miles wide. Shocking penalty. 69 minutes played. It remains 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. 
plenty of width for the team to attack into. That's going to be a free kick. This lad tends to put a bit of whip on these free kicks. Needs it here. To Gordon. Here's an opportunity, maybe. That's even better play to stop the chance. Players do get lifted by supporters, by crowds, and this lot are doing their very best to urge their team on in search of this equaliser. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Surely he must score! Surely the equaliser! Hasn't quite got it as he wanted, Alan, has he? No, next time maybe he'll take a touch. News of a goal from Morecambe. It's a goal from Bradford City. 80 minutes played, 1-0. Great to have Alan Mack. Incisive pass. He fancies his chances of getting past these players. Here's a chance! Saved well by the goalkeeper. Now, not long to go. And another goal would wrap it all up. Difficult skill, good effort. Yeah, timed it perfectly, as you have to do with those volleys. Well, the atmosphere's improving now. Now the home team need to improve. They're still in with a shout. Yeah, time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. They've got the ball back by that interception. They had to come back here quickly, as you would understand. Sorry to Alan McAnally for that. Alan's left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. Yes, a late, late goal here. Stuck at it, Alan, haven't they? And this late equaliser, fair reward. Well, I think so. They were banging on the door for quite a long time. And finally, they've got that goal. So, away we go at one all. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this... Uh, Period of play to add on three minutes. It's a very good clearance and it was needed. Just one minute left on the clock. Well, that is the final whistle and it's finished all square. Very enjoyable.